Brian and Linnell, vows that unite them in marriage. To this moment they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to share with one another. They bring a spirit which is uniquely their own, out of which will grow the reality of their life together. We rejoice with them as an outward symbol of an inward union of hearts, a union created by friendship, respect, and love. When one confesses that God is love, one is subscribing to nothing less than the Christian view of the universe and the meaning and destiny of human life. To say that God is love implies that all his activities are loving activities. When he creates, he creates in love. When he rules, he rules in love. And when he, he unites you both, he unites you through his love. In genuine love, two persons look out together in the same direction and guide their lives towards common ideals and goals. To love somebody is not just a feeling, but a decision and a promise. Be yourselves for each other, fully and joyously, not so much as a right, but as a gift that you give freely. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. A couple is never too old to hold hands, never too tired to say I love you. As a couple, never end your day in anger and at no time take the other for granted. The courtship does not end with the honeymoon, but continues through your lifetime together. Marriage is doing things for each other in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and showing your gratitude in thoughtful ways. Marriage does not look for perfection in each other. It is not finding the right partner, but rather it is becoming the right partner. Brian and Linnell, as you take one another as husband and wife, you make a free decision to join together for life in the love you have for each other. You must now strive to create a home that will be a haven for yourselves, your children, and a benefit to your community. As we acknowledge the decision of these two people, Brian, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife to live together in a holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and health, and forsake all others and keep you only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. And Linnell, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and health, and forsake all others and keep you only unto him so long as you both shall live? I'd ask you to repeat after me. First, um, Linnell to Brian. Brian, this is my promise to you. Brian, this is my promise to you. That as I become your wife. That as I become your wife. I will continue to be your friend. I will continue to be your friend. To join with you. To join with you. To share all that is to come. To share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To speak truth. To speak truth. And maintain respect. In our lives together. In our lives together. And then, um, Brian, to Linnell. Linnell, this is my promise to you. Linnell, this is my promise to you. That as I become your husband. That as I become your husband. I will continue to be your friend. I will continue to be your friend. To join with you. To join with you. To share all that is to come. To share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To speak truth. To speak truth. And maintain respect. And maintain respect. In our lives together. In our let the rings you're about to exchange be a symbol of your true faith in each other and always remind you of the love you share together today. Again, I'd have you repeat after me. And first, um, Linnell to Brian. Brian, I give you this ring. Brian, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. With that I promise. With that I promise. My constant devotion. My constant devotion. And enduring friendship. And enduring friendship. Wear it proudly. Wear it proudly. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. As a symbol of these vows, as a symbol of these vows, that bind us together. That bind us together. And as you, if you place the ring on his finger, okay. And then Brian, as you take the ring for Linnell and place it on her finger, Linnell, I give you this ring. Linnell, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. With it, I promise. With it, I promise. My constant devotion. My constant devotion. And enduring friendship. And enduring friendship. Wear it proudly. Wear it proudly. All the days of your life. All the days. As a symbol of these vows, that bind us together. God has given us his promises in the words of scripture. Brian and Linnell, you have given your promises to each other. As this promise was witnessed before God and those present, I charge you both as you pursue happiness in your married life to be true to these vows you have made to each other. With your marriage from this day, you begin life anew with greater responsibilities. Remember an interest in reputation and in affection. You are to be one and undivided. May the peace known through God's love live always in your hearts and in your home. According to the laws of the state of Michigan and the power vested in me as its servant, I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs>